Hello my friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's all about math. Today we're talking more about radicals, lots and lots of videos about radicals on this YouTube page. So check them all out if they help you. And don't forget to subscribe and slap a like on this video if it's helpful for you. Um, so we're gonna talk about comparing and ordering radicals. And again, just make sure that you know a radical is this red symbol, and every radical carries an index, the letter N. It's two for square root, three for cube root, and so on. So a really common question about the use of radicals is ordering them from small to big or big to small. And that means we need a way to compare them and you can't use your calculator. So you have to do this by hand. So if you look at these one, two, three, four, five numbers, they all look really different in different ways. This first one I threw in because some of your teachers are gonna start introducing you to rational exponents and you're gonna learn eventually that the square root is the same as a number to the one over two, okay? And if it was the cube root, it would be the number to the one over three. So I'm just throwing this in in case your teacher is doing that for you. Um, in order to compare them, what I'm gonna do is use entire radicals, okay? So I'm gonna take each of these particular numbers and write them as radicals, but entire radicals. So all of the number will be under the radical, so then it's easy to compare them. Notice this one's already an entire radical because all of the number is entirely inside. Now let's come to this one first. I want you to know that when I have a square root, when I have a one half on the number, that's actually the square root of 13, okay? So to an exponent of one over two is the square root. Um, and then what I can do is write this as an entire radical by taking the four and putting it inside the radical. Or I can write four as four squared, square rooted, because I know that if I square root four squared, I get four, and that's being multiplied by root 13. And similarly, now four can be squared inside the radical, and these can be combined into one radical. So four squared is 16 times 13, and it'd be 208. Okay, so 16 times 13 is 208. And so what I'm gonna now, do, all of a sudden notice, I can compare this number to that number because they're both entire radicals. And I know that this number is smaller than this number, or this number, because it's the same. Let's go to the next one here. So eight root 13, take the eight, square it, and then square root it. Because you know that's just eight, sort of dressed up like Halloween. There's its costume. And then the 13, sorry, the three gets its own radical. That's glued together by times, glued together by times. And this turns out to be, I can combine that under one radical, eight squared is 64 times three. And then all I have to do is multiply those two numbers together and I get 192. And so you can see here, all of a sudden, I have pretty good um, numbers to do comparisons with. Um, four, I don't have to do anything to 202, root 202, but 14, uh, I'll just put this here, 14 can be written as a radical like any number. First you square it and then you square root it. So that's gonna be the square root of 196. And the last one, but not the least, is 10 root two. So 10 is 10 squared, square rooted, times root two. And now I can combine them together. So that's the square root of 100 times two, or the square root of 200, okay? And now I've got everything exactly as I want it. I can now rank them or order them from small to big or big to small. So let's rank these from small to big. So if I just do a, a scan here, I'm comparing this number to this number, to this number, to this number, and then of course this number. So if I'm gonna go from small to big, and that's sometimes called arranging them in ascending order, ascending order, or if you go from big to small, it's descending order. The smallest number here, it, it looks like it's gonna be 192. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna report the actual number that was given to me in the question. So the smallest number is eight times the square root of three. And then that's dealt with, check. 
And then the next number is 196, which is 14. Good, so check. I've dealt with those two. So the next number, if I scan across here, I can see that the next number is going to be root 200. And I want to report the original number, which is 10 square root 2. So check, <laughs> check. A part of this is just keeping track of what you've already dealt, dealt with. And now the only numbers I have left are the 208 and the 202. Now the 202 was given to me as an entire radical. So I just write it as root 202. And then the final number here is root 208, which is the original form was 4, 13 to the half. So 4 times 13 to the 1 over 2. And that looks pretty good. So that's how we order our radicals. Um, by taking mixed radicals, these are mixed radicals, and writing them as entire radicals. All right, so next up we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing radicals. I'll link those in the description box below if that would help you. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.